Hi subscribers, hi everyone, it's Sloan Rhodes. I wanted just to check in and say hello and um, say thank you for those of you who've been reaching out to me. I am sorry that I have been absent from the YouTube channel. Uh, I have been undergoing a fairly rapid acceleration of my own growth and needed some time for to process and integrate. Um, so thank you for bearing with me and for those of you who have reached out to me, I did want to say a particular thank you to Charlotta in Sweden who wrote me a beautiful email and all of those of you who also reached out to me via email or here on the YouTube channel, uh, Kelly I know left a message and Annie as well. So thank you for your care and concern. So what I'm going to do today, uh, today is November 10th, 2018, I'm just going to draw from the Butterfly Oracle deck by Doreen Virtue. It's a great deck whenever you are undergoing life changes and just give you some daily guidance and then hopefully uh, tomorrow I will be back um, with the Spiritual Self Mastery class Ego and Heart. I may tweak it a little bit. Um, part of everything that's been going on for me has uh, created some new awareness so I'm, I'm probably gonna, that will probably, probably be reflected in my <laughs> YouTube offerings. So let's just go ahead and get started for today though. And um, I may do my weekly Spiritual Self Mastery video later today. Okay, here we go. Oh, interesting. Okay. All right, I'm gonna pull two cards. That's the way it's showing up. Okay. So we have religion and spirituality, which is the card I thought wanted to come out, and then another one I wanted to come out, and this one is welcome the new. <laughs> so it's kind of what uh, I've already been saying, uh, a deep need of spirituality, and not just for me. I'm always aware that whenever something is occurring for me, it's occurring for everyone on some level. And so there is, you know, it's a period of great change. Everyone knows it, everyone can feel it. And not everyone's comfortable with it, of course, but whenever there's great change, there's great tumult. And what can feel like very chaotic circumstances. And one of the ways that we can ground ourselves and feel more peaceful during the tumult, during the chaos, is through our connection to the divine, through our connection to our spirituality or our um, religious beliefs, you know, however it plays out for you. So it doesn't surprise me that this particular card would come out. Many people are ascending at a very rapid rate. Um, and with that ascension comes the sort of crashing of old paradigms, old value systems. So uh, remember that you are more than your physical incarnation here. It's not always easy. And I'll address this as well in the, um, the Spiritual Self Mastery class, Ego and Heart, um, because the ego can come up very, very prominently. Uh, as it did for me <laughs> and I had to uh, draw upon everything that I've been working upon um, in order to transcend the ego and it was uh, very uncomfortable <laughs> but now it feels much more I feel much more aligned with it but everyone is undergoing some version of this so hence this card coming up and such a beautiful the way it's showing here that beautiful blue being able to continue to deepen your connection to your heart with this beautiful pink and then communicate not just with others you don't want to try to convince others of what you're undergoing or what you're experiencing or what you think they should be doing uh, or even what you think you should be doing but begin to communicate with self with the divine with spirit um, with your actions even but in particular your voice uh, what feels more loving? What feels more in alignment with the truth of who you are at a soul level? What you're here to express in all its forms. Begin to communicate that more with your voice, either to yourself or to spirit or to others with whom you have a very tight bond. Someone who may not necessarily know exactly what you're talking about, but they have more empathy and more understanding for it. But it's less about trying to communicate to others as I feel it, and it's more about communicating with self, saying out loud those little secrets that you've been holding within that you have been afraid to say out loud truth about yourself, about your desires, your wants, and your needs. Um, because we are welcoming in the new. We're, welcom we're welcoming in a new era of being. And uh, as I mentioned, it can be painful to embrace change. Um, but the change is necessary in order for us to grow beyond our current situation, our current value systems, our current um, 
level of energetic uh, frequency. But we have to ground ourselves before we can welcome the new. And this is why it's going to be so important for all of us in today's spiritual uh, guidance video. Um, I'm talking about this, but this goes beyond this particular day, of course. Ground ourselves in the truth of who we know ourselves to be. Finding a sense of peace in moments where you feel completely out of control or you feel like circumstances around you are um, too much to bear. And remember that whenever we are feeling empathy for another, I'm thinking in particular of my beautiful home state of California because just like many places in the world, um, we're undergoing tremendous um, difficulties here right now with um, fires. We've had, we had a mass shooting just um, in my, our neighboring community the other day. Um, and your heart can break open for others as you have empathy for that. It's okay to experience that level of heartbreak because that is where the light shines out from. So remember, you don't have to um, be strong for another. You don't have to um, dole out platitudes. It's all for, our, all for our growth and all of that. It's okay to feel the pain with everyone else. But the trick here, as you welcome in these newer energies, is not feeling victimized by them. It's okay to experience the heartbreak of them in order to connect more deeply to your greater sense of self and to welcome in the new energies, which are a greater sense of compassion and empathy for all. It's a heart awakening and a heart opening. And many times we have difficult circumstances, whether they be, as I mentioned here in California, um, the mass shooting coupled with the, the devastating fires, um, but in, other, in your own states, in your own personal lives, in other countries, we're all experiencing some version of this energy. And that version, even though it's not our preference, awakens our heart, opens our heart. And so you welcome in this new energy um, where you're not feeling so much like you're a victim of it, but that as an opportunity to deepen your connection to our, our humanity, you know, as our, and our place upon the planet Earth, as a, one, of the, one, just one of the living beings that um, roams the Earth, right? Um, as well as our planet Earth as one, one planet in, in the universe, you know? So something to think about. Now, in terms of practical guidance for welcoming in the new, one of the things that you can do is when you are feeling like your, your own personal circumstances are, are not what you'd like them to be and you're feeling kind of buffeted by the change, the change energy or just a feeling of discombobulation, you can touch yourself, right? Arm, you know, hand to arm, fingertip to fingertip, heart, um, hand to heart, uh, fingertips to heart chakra. Remembering that you are an embodied being, right? You are a spiritual being, but you are having the embodied experience. And when you love yourself, when you touch yourself, when you remind yourself that you are a grounded, um, uh, you're having this grounded experience, you ground yourself not in your soul understanding of yourself as I am only a human being, but grounding yourself in the knowledge that you are more than your humanity. You are connected to all things. And when you do that, when you touch yourself, it helps to remind you of that that you are embodied, yes, but you're, um, you're more than this. And when you touch yourself, it reminds you because a lot of times we can get caught up in our ego and our ego takes us on this, this you know, the hamster wheel, right, of pain and suffering. But when you bring yourself back to the grounded sense of who you are, knowing that you are an embodied being, but you are spirit first, that helps to give you a greater sense of confidence that everything is happening just as it's meant to, even though sometimes it's so heartbreaking to witness or be a part of. Right now it may not be easy to feel your wholeness. Um, you may feel fractured or there may be feelings of everything is differentiated and there's no sense of wholeness right now. Um, that's okay. It's okay to be in this middle ground, in this place of kind of swimming in waters that you're unfamiliar with. Uh, everything is being revealed to each of us individually in the exact right time for our ability to integrate it, um, to welcome it, to process it, and to match that frequency so that we can continue to uh, 
ascend to the higher frequencies more easily. But it, it, it can feel, again, uh, uncomfortable. But do your best to welcome in the new, knowing that you are more than, than what is occurring. You are more than your physical self. You are embodied. Yes, it's a beautiful gift. Uh, but you are more than the physical nature of yourself and that you are indeed part of the universal oneness. You are part of the whole. And it may not feel it right now, but that's part of the, the change that's occurring. So do your best to welcome it, to breathe into it. And if you are feeling any sense of anxiety, as I'm sure many of you are, I do have a meditation tape, um, a free meditation. It's available here on the YouTube channel, um, as well as on my audio podcast. You can just type in Sloan Roads Podcast Meditation, and it'll come up. But then I also have a resources page on my website, sloanrose.com. And on that resources page, there is um, there are some re references that you can look at to see if there's anything there that might help you find peace. I do recommend EFT tapping, emotional freedom technique. There's um, a gentleman here on the YouTube channel, Brad Yates, who I list on my resources page, but who has a lot of videos up for anxiety. And there are many other EFT practitioners um, on YouTube that you, so you can find whichever one resonates for you but for times of anxiety um, emotional freedom technique is a beautiful um, tool to have in your toolbox so anyway I wish you all much love and I will see you on the next video